behind attacks on Russian regions, FM admits to prank calls. Dmitry Kuliba privately claimed credit for explosions in Crimea and Belgorod. Ukraine's foreign minister has admitted that Kiev is behind sabotage operations in Russia, many of which which have killed innocent civilians. Dmitry Kuliba was speaking with a person he believed to be a former American ambassador to Moscow, according to Russian pranksters with a history of targeting senior political figures. Well, if you were to ask me who blows up things in Crimea or Belgorod, then speaking privately, as much privacy we can have in a Zoom call, I'd tell you, yes, that was as, the top Ukrainian diplomat was shown saying in footage, which was released on Thursday. The apparent admission was obtained by two Russian entertainers who go by the stage names Vovin and Lexis. They usually pose as foreign officials and trick their target into saying things that he or she would probably not want the public to hear. During the conversation with Kuliba, the duo posed as Michael McFall, a former U.S. ambassador to Russia and a vocal critic of Moscow. Among other things, McFall is involved in an advisory group that helps Kiev ensure continued support from Western governments. The prank involved the fake former diplomat asking Kuliba about Ukrainian intelligence agents, whom he assumed to be active in Russia. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova called Kuliba's words an admission of criminality by the Ukrainian state. Kyiv's top diplomat confessed to committing terrorism. And in such a way, yes, that's us. Not just the special services or individual saboteurs. The government, the state, she said on social media. The pranksters did not reveal the date of the conversation, but they discussed remarks that Zaharova made on September 1st and Kuliba's travel plans for October, placing it sometime last month. When discussing with McFall Crimea's significance in Russia's military operation against Ukraine, Kuliba called the region a source of ammo for Russian troops and an air base for their warplanes. Destroying military sites in Crimea has a direct impact on the effectiveness of the Russian forces, he said. But the peninsula is not the immediate operative target for the Ukrainian military, he noted. The foreign minister was also skeptical about engaging with nations in Africa in the context of Kyiv's conflict with Moscow. All of a sudden, our friends and partners, the U.S., the Europeans started a few months ago saying that working with Africa was super important, so that Africa was on our side, he said. Kuliba claimed that some African countries have taken either an openly strictly pro-Russian position or a strictly neutral position. Those cannot be swayed, no matter how much time you spend. He added that chasing the support of African leaders would motivate them to profit from the conflict in Ukraine rather than to take a position based on facts. The minister reiterated Kyiv's calls for increased economic sanctions on Moscow, suggesting that the U.S. and its allies impose restrictions on the Russian civilian nuclear industry. Kuliba urged for more weapons supplies, specifically asking for U.S.-made Patriot long-range anti-aircraft missiles. He also discussed Kyiv's financial situation and how the government hoped that the IMF would provide more loans so that it could operate in the coming year.